um, I would pr probably go up to the person and pretend I knew them. So then it would like kind of distract the perpetrator and make them kind of not want to continue sexually assaulting the person. Uh, I'd walk up to them and ask them if they're okay and pretend that I know them just to sort of distract the uh, abuser so that he'll be put off. Um, well, if I could see someone was visibly uncomfortable, I might try to get them, you know, interfere with the situation and stop it from happening in its tracks. But if it's escalated or it's quite a serious sort of situation, I'd definitely need to be more direct and more challenging towards the perpetrator? Well, I wouldn't want to be very direct because I think I'd worry that the person becomes violent towards me. Uh, so I'd probably go for like more of a distraction route. So like accidentally trip into them or pretend that I know the person who's the victim. Uh, and yeah, so that, to try and diffuse the situation without being direct, if that makes sense. Um, if I saw a situation like that, um, I would uh, usually uh, pretend if I, that I knew the person, make sure they're okay. Um, probably one of the first things I'd do is uh, record it, um, and then maybe I'd try to intervene uh, by just putting a barrier between uh, the two people. Yeah, I think I'd do the same, or I would just pretend to be the person's friend to get them away from the situation and then maybe confront or get other people to help me confront the perpetrator.